Welcome back to the channel YouTube for a brand new episode of our MLB The Show 22 Road to the Show featuring none other than Chance Bishop episode 28 on the series. you love to see a Chance Bishop coming in here at the All-Star Game. Just saying he is probably one of the better Mariners in the league. That was me with some of the National League guys over there. I think it was like Freddie Freeman and whatnot. It, it's... It's cool to see Juan Soto here. It's it's a real it's a real treat to see, honestly. And it's it's crazy, you know. We're a three time All Star. We've made it the last three seconds of this season, the past two seasons, and it's it's just a real honor for Chance Bishop to be featured with some of these players. Yeah, because who who would have thought that a young player like Chance would get so much recognition so early in his career? You know, definitely, probably not just one of the best, but the best of all of the contact hitters currently in the league. Chance definitely the best contact hitter in the league. No way fans or butts. We see Soderstrom, Pete Alonso, Bishop, Bregman, Oswaldo Peraza, Kilbadu, Mike Trout, Aaron Judge, Vlad Guerrero Jr. It's a pretty stacked American League lineup. I like what I'm looking at right now. It's just, uh... It's a real it's a real good time to be an American League baseball fan, especially with how good this team is. On the mound we have Alec Manoa, probably one of the biggest, you know I don't know I don't know the what proper word to use them to use to describe him is, but like one of the biggest in your face personalities. The kind of guy it's he's like a he's like a Madison Bumgarner. If Bumgarner threw like ninety seven. You know, it's the same it's the same effect. It's like a Madison Bumgarner type player. But Chance Bishop here in his first at bat take on Bryce Elder. He's a Braves pitcher, really? He's a starter? I thought he was like a reliever. Alright, but Bryce doesn't matter. That's a that's a line drive single for Chance. Now we're in the field here at the top of the second inning. It's gonna be a little pop up. Bishop grabs it. And we're gonna throw to first and in time double play. Okay. Helping out Alec Manoa here, doubling up the runner at first. He was just kind of lazily getting back to spur up. Uh, just lazily getting back. Now Bishop. Oh, can we get all the outs this inning? Oh, we're going to get all the outs this inning. We got all the outs here in the second inning. Way to go, Chance. Who needs double plays when you have what we did? I guess it was double play. Doesn't matter. Ground ball here in the third. Bishop gets it. He's going to fire over to first in time. Picked by the first baseman. That's going to be a nice, nice first stop here in the third inning. Lance McCullers Jr. still in the mound here. It's going to be one away here. So next batter up, it's going to be a ground ball. And we're going to get it. And we're going to flip it over to the first baseman again. You'll love to see that right there. It's just uh, it's what you like to do. It's what you like to see from Chance Bishop. Now take it on Lucas Giolito, geez Louise, so many American League players in the National League and National League players in the American League. It's crazy to see. But yeah, Lucas Giolito, the ace of the White Sox over there with the National League now. Here we go, Bishop after a fly out last at bat, gets another line single. RBI, we're going to push for two and we're going to get to two. So we give the American League a one run lead here with a double. Former American League prospect Francisco Mejia, he's up to go on Garrett Whitlock, who I believe plays for the Red Sox, right? Garrett Whitlock plays for the Red Sox, I think. I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing now. But I know Mejia used to play for color teams. I mean, it was Cleveland, it was uh, the Padres, and there was, oh, where did Mejia play? Tampa Bay? But Bishop pulled all the way to the shortstop position. It's the ground ball out. We're going to get pinch hit for it by Bo Bichette. That's okay. I'll, I'll accept Bo Bichette pinch hitting for us. Batting 276, 18 bombs. I'll accept it. We're pinch hit for in the eighth inning. Hopefully we come on to win this game. Like, we, we deserve to win this game. Right, guys? This is the game we deserve to win. And we do come off the win. We uh, we walk it off. 3-2 final score. Jordan Romano with the win. And uh, Camilo, Camilo Duvall with the loss. Romano definitely not doing great out of that Blue Jays bullpen. Six losses on the season already. It's not what you want to see from your closer. But we're going to hop into some American League West matchups here. We have 
the Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. No one likes Houston still. Not a great game. Not a great team. Eric Pena, center fielder, young guy. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Really do. But Robbie Ray definitely fallen off the horse a bit recently in his career. He went from a Cy Young winner to 5-0 with a 429 ERA in 19 starts. So Bishop taking on Luis Garcia, and that's going to be a ball goes over the head of the jumping shortstop. Bishop, only 88 speed. He's going to get himself a nice easy double. He's going to go for three, though. Can we beat the throw in now? Double, throwing out, advances the third. We get the RBI, though. That's pretty cool. Now take on Garcia, bottom of the third fly ball. That gets down. It's going to take a couple hops to get to the lawn. We're going to learn. We're going to hold up at second this time. So it's an RBI double. So two RBI doubles on the day so far for Chance. Now they got Josh Bell. Josh Bell, in real life, went to the Padres as opposed to the Astros, who were looking at getting Josh Bell. Grounds out the Chance. Flip the second in time. There you go. Two away here in the fifth inning for Robbie Ray. Now Bishop, bottom of the fifth. That's going to be a chopper. That's like a one hopper to second baseman. Second on baseman, second on baseman crime. And that's going to be a double play. Take on Force Whitley, former top prospect. I guess turned into bullpen relief. Never really panned out. That doesn't work. It's a ground out in the eighth. And Astros somehow took a big lead against us. That's a. Uh, that's unforgivable right now. Like, how does that happen? Top of the ninth. Come on. Ground ball. Bishop gloves it. He's going to get it. He's going to fire it first. So here you go. It's going to be the second out here. Top of the ninth inning for Matt Brash, who's coming in to hopefully just lock up this inning. Get out, and it uh, doesn't matter. I mean, Brash comes in, locks up the inning after a four-run uh, four eighth inning by the Astros. Just absolutely... Just Kills all momentum. Emerson Hancock on the mound. In 20 starts, he's 9-5, the 446 ERA. 116 hits a lot, 115 innings pitched. 38 walks and 92 punch outs. I don't know why pitchers don't seem to be getting high strikeout numbers in this game. Like in the sim. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going pitcher by pitcher to see what their K rating is for, you know, the sim. I'm not, I'm not going through and looking at that because I'm just not that invested in looking at what every pitcher's K rating is. But it seems like some start like every starter is just like not like they'll pitch two hundred innings and they'll have like a hundred twenty strikeouts. And I'm just thinking it's like that's definitely not adding up properly. Maybe it's just me not knowing the pitchers I'm looking at. Like, okay, maybe Emerson Hancock's not a strikeout guy. Maybe he's more of a a ground ball pitch to contact guy. I, d I doubt it. Cause that's kind of not the way baseball is anymore. It's more of a big, get big strikeouts and call it a day kind of league. I could be wrong, though. Could definitely be wrong, though. Don't know, though, frankly. I, I really don't know. Uh, but here in the bottom of the third, it's going to be a fly out, which is unfortunate because it ends the inning. Bottom of the 6-5-2 game. Looks like Astros. I mean, unless you can rally late here. Looks like the Astros are going to take this one in the sixth. It's going to be a fly ball. Goes off the base of the wall and chance. He learned. Holds up at second base. Long double. 37th on the season for a Bishop. And here we are in the bottom of the eighth. Still down by three. Home run shot. And no, we thought it was gone. Ground rule double. 38th on the season. And hey, we do come back to rally and win this game. So I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of our Chance Bishop Road to the Sub. So 28th, the All-Star Game episode. On text on YouTube, though. Peace out. Rock on. Stay super classy. Have yourselves a